Okay, team, we're going to get straight to the meat and potatoes of this video. Now, if you watched my last video that I posted three, maybe four days ago, I was talking about how great and how welcoming the new game mode update for the new LG C1 G1 OLED is. However, there was a but, an asterisk to it, right? The issue was that the frame rate counter was not reading properly. It wasn't giving me a realistic feed of what I was saying. There was no accuracy there, all right? So what I did that I think fixed my problem in some part was I forced a reset on my TV. So did that, reset everything, got it going, got it updated, manually updated, then set the auto updates. And now everything is good, um, at least a little bit, right? So if you're looking at the title, maybe see the thumbnail of the video, I'm just kind of questioning if this, is made for a console or if it's for PC. So right now, without further ado, we're on PC um, and I got my tripod set stationary. So uh, first thing we're gonna do, I do have an NVIDIA graphics card hooked up to this. Um, RTX 3080 is what has been in this living room, okay? Right click, NVIDIA control panel. We're gonna take a look at just some of the presets that I have now. You plan on PC with this configuration, there's two different resolution settings. There's the TV, right? The 4K goes from 60 hertz all the way down to 23 hertz, all right? Then there's the PC 4K, right? 3840 by 2160. It'll enable 100 hertz or 120 hertz. Red 120 hertz, that's where red. So we're gonna apply that just for the sake of that being done. And no one questioning this. I had a gentleman that asked me if I had that set. This was absolutely set in my video from a few days ago. Um, definitely not a novice to this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and fire up a game. All right, we're gonna do Days Gone. Let me get this turned on. Go to where I have it. Come on, where do I have this game? I think it's there, there we go, right? So got this fired up, it's on a solid state drive. It's loading up, 77 inch 2001 C1 OLED. I'm gonna have to start editing my videos because I made a mistake and call this TV a 2001. It's 2021, right? <laughs> Obviously, 2021, not 2001. Um, yeah, but got days gone um, running, and uh, we're gonna take a look at the game mode settings in just a second as soon as this loads up. <clears throat> All right, HDR just popped up on the right of the screen, top right of the screen in colorful letters. Go down to options, let's go over to graphics. Now what you might not be able to see because I got the tripod set is that this game has a, a built-in frame rate counter for what you're doing when you're doing your presets of the game. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the settings button on the remote and voila, it brings up that frame rate counter, okay? Now the issue last video was that this 119 frame per second was reading at 59. It was pretty much locked there. We'll go to 60, 59, maybe 40, um, but it wasn't moving at all. Um, and I was clearly running a game, Destiny 2, in that video that was going higher than 60 frames per second. So just to test that this is actually working, if you mess with the preset on this game, very high, bam. Frame rate counter is reading 98 frames. This is reading 97. Another thing, this is always gonna read like a frame lower than what it is. I've never seen it say 120, so 119 is what it is. Um, so let me take that off and just mess around with some of the settings in the display. Full screen, 3840 by 2160, the refresh rate is 120 hertz. Um, V-Sync is turned on. It, it, I can turn V-Sync off and there'll be no screen tearing because I do have G-Sync enabled. Um, and then the sync, is going to be 120 uh, frames per second right so that's already applied hdr is on so it does actually work um what i'm going to do is just start this game up and then um take it over to xbox which is really going to be the reasoning for me questioning all this turn that frame rate counter on i can see that we are at 96 frames 88 frames yada 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 and for the accuracy piece graphics car has a frame rate counter 
it's top right corner. Um, we're about spot on here. We are spot on. See if we can get some motion going. I like this game, by the way. I did a laptop review using this, uh, messing around with this game. So butter smooth, let me tell you, 77 inch. So real nice, right? So got the point across there. That is absolutely working. This is exactly what you want for this. Now, again, I, I never needed this feature from the TV because my GPU on my PC has the ability to do this, right? I've always been able to track my frames. Let's switch on over to console and I'll phase the video back and we'll take a look and see what's happening with the Xbox Series X. All right, we're about to switch on over to the Xbox Series X and see what's going on, see what we got happening here. And put four, all right. All right, so we're on the dashboard here. Xbox One Series X. And before we do anything, let me go to settings. I had a couple of people asking me about the settings. Like this, this stuff is, it, it's not rocket scientists. It's not rocket science. Um, resolutions 4K, refresh rates 120 hertz. You can either go 60 or 120 on this. You can't do 100 um, or any of the in-betweens. Uh, 4K details, right? TV resolution. Yada, yada, yada. I covered all of this stuff with the um, six-year-old Samsung video idea. You could check that out, too, asking if you really need to get a high-end TV to enjoy this. I'm actually going to be taking this console off of this TV, putting it on an older OLED, so that video will be coming up in a day or so. Um, but everything's on. The, the one check that was missing prior to the update was your TV supports Dolby Vision with gaming um at 120 hertz in 4k uh there's no titles for this console designed for that but future proof when it comes down the line or whenever the new xbox comes up that's going to be a default uh feature because 4k at 120 on this thing is just it's it's um it's 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 bullshit <laughs> um but anyway all right so we already checked out the video modes and all of that um you know HDR is on, Dolby Vision is on, variable refresh rate, auto low latency, 4K, 50 hertz, 120, I'm sorry, 24 hertz, HDR 10, yada, yada. All right, so hit settings, activated game mode, bam, we're running at 120 frames locked, 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 locked. So again, the update, forcing the update on my TV, it, it fixed it because this was always locked at 60. It wasn't jumping beyond that. Um, and so... Let's go ahead and get a game situated. I did Destiny 1 the other day. Going to do Red Dead Redemption. This is an Xbox 360 game. Has been enhanced for the Xbox One X, which is backwards compatible on the Xbox Series X. We're going to fire up Red Dead Redemption. Xbox 360 logo. All right, Xbox 360 obviously didn't have HDMI 2.1. Can't run at 120 frames. We just had a dip of 40 frames, then 116, 118. Um, you know, the margin of 118 to 120 is always within uh, realism. So let's see what we've got. So we are actually in the game, right? This game is not designed to play in 60 frames per second definitely not 120 frames um it is a 30 frame per second game um all red dead Redu uh, red dead redemption games are well at least on console so let this thing load up and see what happens when we get into some gameplay um free sync premium is active um low latency is on right i'm in gameplay like and to be fair and to be transparent, I'm recording this in 4K at 30 frames, but uh, this is 100% running at 30 frames per second. Um, but this frame rate counter is not telling me that. It's telling me that it is reading 120 frames. 
Um, so there appears to be a limitation for the Xbox Series X slash the PlayStation 5 uh, to some degree where and it turned off by itself um, where it's not it's not showing me um, what my frames are actually running at. Like I said, don't really need this feature for um, for PC uh, because yeah, GeForce experience in AMD also has a bit of technology that has the ability to to um, read your frame rate counter. You can always download Fraps, you know what I'm saying? But this was a nice feature that I thought was was going to be great uh, implementation for the console, for a console gamer to be able to track their frame rate, see what the game's running like. Um, it, it just kind of removes the need for you to have to question uh you know what 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 a frame rate is and what it what it, what it's running at you don't always have to go to all these um you know these websites and these youtube channels to kind of check this stuff you can just kind of see it yourself but as you can see it's not it's 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 not um showing me a realistic frame rate it's not showing me what my actual game is running at so i think there's some limitation there uh unlike with a pc having the ability to produce the, what the literal frame rate is on the screen to tell you the TV can also pick that up, but this console isn't, it's not doing that. Um, and when I close this, about the only time I see a change is when I'm going to, um, I'm not going to insert the game disc on there. Uh, what game can I run? Let me pull up uh, destiny Two. It needs an update. What is this? <laughs> Destiny 2 runs at uh, 60 frames per second. It it still shows um, 120 frames. Like um, uh, any game you run, this Ninja Gate in Black, uh, I don't feel like putting a CD in right now. It runs at 60. Um, it shows 120 frames. So you you guys get the idea. You get you get the idea, right? Like the 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 this mode, this TV is flawless. It is perfect, best gaming TV you can get. 100%, but there, there's a hit and there's a miss with this new game mode update. I appreciate the, the quick um, access to all of this, but there's no true accuracy with the frame rate counter. Um, and before anyone comments, I hope you watch the video. I have all the settings turned on the way it's supposed to be. The TV's up to date. You've seen it. It worked on the PC, but it's not working on the console. So that's why I question if this in update was made with uh, PC gaming in mind. Till next time. Talk to you guys soon. Peace. God bless. Max love.